Alrighty. So, uh, last game, round four. Got to buy round three, and I am playing Oath. Lord Sapphire most likely has Oath. So, Sapphire did not mulligan. I don't think I can mulligan either, but uh, I don't like this because uh, Sapphire is going first and is did not mulligan, which usually means trouble. But uh, we will see. Maybe start off like a Library of Alexandria. Could be another play. The Lodestone Golem is good. Because I'm going second, though. It's a little slow. Alright. Forbidden Orchard. So I'm going to kill that. Hope that there's some type of mana issue on Lord Sapphire's side. Alright, so there goes to get the oath, I am sure. So, uh, this is not looking good for game one. Jeez. Oh, hmm. Another lodestone. Well, I think my only hope is to play out, but um, I am pretty sure an oath is coming next because Sapphire got it with the Vampiric Tutor, or a Tinker, or a, yeah, just straight oath. So I guess my real hope would be a Gold Clan Pierre. Well, there's a good chance Lord Sapphire has a misstep. So. Hmm. Tangle Wire, huh? So, I don't think I should Tangle Wire yet, but, let's see, if I play a land, 3-6, so maybe I play this, no, alright, I gotta just go with the Lodestone plan, maybe a Force of Will here, nope, and I gotta hope no haste. Tangawire at least lets me tap down the creature, which is gives me a chance if uh, there's no haste. Okay, Gristlebrand. I don't see any haste. Hmm. Uh, I think they, um, yeah, here's going to be the combo. A tinker, 
into the combo, volcanic key. So I'm not dead yet, because of one mana shy due to the golem. But I have to win on my next turn. Or actually, yeah, no, I have to win on my next turn. Oh, it looks like what happened there? Lotus Petal? I'm not exactly sure what just happened there. Maybe she has it in her hand, or maybe... Oh, it's in the graveyard. Ah, there it is. I didn't see that either. Huh. Alright. So I guess the bummer still is Tangle Wire with this Lotus Pell lets, its, lets her attack with Gristlebrand. I think, let's see. I'll play this, I have one extra. Yeah, so I'll play this. Hopefully, I get a foul. Oh, this is good. Because then, Tangawar does stop. I need her to use the Lotus Petal. Wow. On the Genesis Chamber, even. That's. Couldn't have really asked for better than that. Alrighty, so I guess I've won this game. Play this other lodestone. Play this tangle wire. And pass the turn. Wow. So that Tinker play was a real mistake. Now I'm not sure. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. That Tinker play was the mistake. I'm going to eat this tangle wire because I don't want to tap. But I'm not sure what else Sapphire could have done. So. Yeah, no, I guess I win here. Well, that was an interesting one. So, all right, in comes the Metamorphs, in comes the Caracas, in comes the Thorn, Orbs, and Cages. 
I have a good oath package, so out comes Memnites. I just do not want fast creatures. Out goes signal pests. And out goes frog mites. My guess. Question is I do now have 19 lands because I went to Caracas. So I guess I'm my only thought thinking is is would I rather have a creature than a land? I don't think so. I'll go with it. Yeah, I just do not want too many early creatures with it versus Oath. take a turn one golem with a factory to back it up so wow Wow. Yep. Okay. So, it is a foul. The good news is I've got two fouls here. And I can actually memory jar on my turn. Next turn. Or at least play it. And the factory I like, but there is a strip mine here, so I'm wondering, will I see the workshop killed with the strip? Yes, I will. Okay. Hmm. So I'm going to name Lotus Petal. Worst case scenario, I hopefully will be able to play Ravenger and eat all my creatures and put it on my factory. Um, if an oath comes down here. And I took out two fouls, so chances are there wouldn't, or I hope chances are there won't be a, another one in Lord Sapphire's hand. Huh. Let's attack first. So if there is a counter, I'd rather counter on Overseer. I don't think that Sapphire runs Daisy. So, let's start off with the Overseer. And then let's play this Ravenger. She has a Mana Drain. Oh, no, no Mana Drain either. 
Okay. So I'm definitely going to eat this mana vault. I probably will never get to untap it. Alright, what's happening here? Show and tell. Oath. No, take, no. Oh, it must be a energy flux. Ouch. Alright, so that's not the worst, actually. Um, what I can do... Pump things. So this is what I'm going to do. I will... On my turn... So hold on. I want to... First things first. I want to turn this into a land. Okay. Now I want to pump. So I can save one thing. So I definitely want to eat this. I definitely want to... I guess the question is, I think I actually want to leave this Revoker alone. I'm thinking if I keep the Revoker out to 3-2, I put, I'll eat the Overseer, make this an 8, I turn 11. That's what I think I'm going to do. So I'm actually going to let the Raven... The only thing I'm going to save is this Revoker. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. So I will not save that. I guess I could save... So this is the thing, if I save the Ravenger, and there's a Wasteland, you know what, I think actually, I save the Ravenger, I do 8 damage, actually I could do, hold on here, 5, 6, 10 damage. Um, now, I am going... See, this. Uh, I'm just debating if... Because if there's a source to plowshare, I won't have mana to tap, make this into a creature. So actually, I'm going to take the, uh, the path of saving the Revoker like I had said. Could be a mistake. I don't think it is, though. And I will sack this and put the counters on my land. Because it's a little bit harder for Sapphire to kill my land. And then also try to kill... That's interesting. I'm going to save that. I don't need to play it right now. <clears throat> and if I do play it, it'll just die next turn to the flux. Alright, so I put Sapphire in a tough spot here. Um... We'll see if there's any way that to get out of it. I have lethal with these two creatures, and I have lethal with this. So, you know, I guess the one way would be another energy flux and wasteland, my factory. So here's hoping that 
Sapphire cannot do that. <laughs> All right, no wasteland. Uh oh. Two white. Is there a balance? I don't know if balance helps. It is a balance, but it doesn't help, I don't think. Unless there's an STP for the land. So I'm actually going to play the jar and turn this into a creature. Just in case there's an STP here. Nature's claim. Alright. Well, so on my turn, I can use the jar. Get a whole bunch of cards, hopefully. Do something with them. Alright, so. I want to get the Revoker out. I want to get the Soul Ring out. A mental misstep, well, maybe. Yep, okay. Revoker. Skull clamp. And I will not be able to do anything else. All right. So the question is do I keep my skull clamp? Is it worth two mana? Ox Opal, of course not. I think it is. Well. Yeah, it is. Wow. 
Now that it land. Alright, so I think I'm going to just stay and hope that I can win with a revoker. Okay. Cannot. So now I need to draw, so I am going to keep this skull clamp. Ah, another skull clamp. Do not want that. This is an epic game though. You gotta like these type of games. Uh, actually, yeah, no, I will. Because I'm not afraid of real damage outside of the one big hit that Oath does. Nice. And I'm going to switch it up. I don't think Lois Pal matters. The question is, I go, do I go Time Vault? Or Jace. A Voltanic Key. I'm gonna go Voltanic Key. Maybe another STP coming. Ooh, down to one. Life. So that was a lot of. Uh oh. Corrupt decay. Alright. <laughs> I wouldn't have even played that if I was. Sapphire, but okay. I'll take another two, I guess. And play it. So there could be a mana drain here. The question is, does Sapphire want to mana drain a Tangle Wire? I think if I were... I don't know. I think I would probably mana drain it if I had one in hand. Reason being is obviously it'll tap down all of the lands, it'll kill your mana vault, and then uh, you can't use mana drain for the next, you know, pretty much few turns anyway. Yeah, here it comes. Oh, or a hard casted foul. Wait a second. At the beginning of your draw step. Okay. So you actually, you know, so Sapphire can tap this. And then this is upkeep. So it upkeep kill the vault. And then it um, will not die. And here's the foul. Okay. I'm actually, I am all right with that. At this point, though, I am not going to save my clamp. So, Savar has a whole bunch of car, any paint or any sack lands, or. 
Yeah. I guess, I don't know if Sapphire had to pay that. I don't think so. Nah, I don't know. So I'm not going to save the clamp anymore. I want these lands to cast. <sighs> that helps me not at all. I'm going to kill white. Get rid of STPs. Uh oh. Rainstorm. No oath still. That's helpful. Oh, nice. Alright. Go down to two. Play my golem. Alright. So now... Needs an answer... Actually, I can't use my tombs. Yeah, it was a play mistake for me to save these clamps the whole time. Yeah, that was a mistake. So now I gotta save my golem. And sack everything else. That was a big mistake, because if I could have just saved this token... I mean, we'll see if Sapphire has anything, but... Alright. Woo! That was a good, good match. So I at least placed 3-1 with thanks to a buy um, after a really bad start. So, uh, there you go. Good daily event. Glad they fired again. Talk to everyone later.